The next question I have is from uh, <coughs> brother, and uh, it is the question that I received from Mr. Street is asking what's the uh, best way to um, the husband and wife have a peaceful relation. I will lay my shade on Rajim, Smla Rahman Rahim, Rabbi Surah Sadr, Rabbi Sili Amri, Wahla Lakta Tamilasani, Yaku Kali. Many of the complaints that I receive regarding uh, husband and wife dispute. Um, I'm going to go through the root cause and I'm sure uh, this would help like a many husband and wives and uh, inshallah after listening uh, to my poems inshallah I hope there will be a much change uh, in your life. The root cause uh, of all the problems that is the anger of a husband and the sharp tongue of a wife. In every couple's life if these two are controlled because uh, we have to understand something shaitan knows our weakness our weakness what we have shaitan use that to cause a problem in our life for example uh, let me let me give an example how does the whole situation start get corrupted at our um, at home <clears throat> when a husband gets uh, home from outside what happens if the husband is uh, like a little bit outside from an outside and when he comes home and let's say uh, a wife has a period or maybe she's an upset she's an angry or anything and the husband is already upset because of the, some type of job maybe his boss got an angry baby because of the of the business it, it could be any reason but well, let's let's take an uh, example he gets home and uh, maybe the wife is uh, doing something uh, inappropriate which maybe the husband didn't like it and he, he would simply get an upset on that and because of the anger that he had from his job from his business he would take his anger on a wife just by entering into a home now when he does that without realizing now this is all happening the communication between the shaitans how the shaitans communicate how does the shaitan cause a problem between husband and wife? Do understand something. Husband and wife is the only relation on the earth. They're the only one who disliked it, who wants to break it. It's a shaitan. There's a beautiful hadith before coming to the point. I just wanted to quote a beautiful hadith and I'm going to give you a commentary on that one. One of the hadiths, the Prophet I'm going to give you a commentary on that. The Prophet says every night there's a gathering of a shaitans above the sea every night. And all the shaitans are gathered and among them there's a one leader of all the shaitans, like a head you can call a principal or you can call it um, the minister or you can call it any name you want. When all the small uh, students of Shaitan sitting on the on the chairs and the big leader sitting on his uh, big chair, he would be asking an every Shaitan, "Okay, what you did?" Like giving a daily report to the to the leader, like the supervisor. You can say you can say a manager. You can say a leader, like the bigger Shaitan. So all the the little Shaitan they get up and they give the report. They will give the report. To the minister or the leader okay today i have now this is the commentary of the hadith that i'm interpreting into more into detail so you can understand the the problem the root cause how the things happen and uh, which is in invisible to a human being and and still we have an iman that in a creation that exists is called uh, jinns and shayatin that they fly around causing problems on the earth and causing a bloodshed causing an interruption causing a human being to sin so one of them gets up and uh, he will report to his leader okay today I have made someone uh, to drink an alcohol and the leader will tell him okay you sit down <coughs> now the another one gets up he would say okay I made a person uh, to commit sin okay he said okay you sit down and among them one of them will say okay i make somebody to 
to involve into riba he say the leader would say okay you sit down one of them would come up and he would say i make someone to do the gambling and he and the leader would say you sit down and one of them say i made someone to do a shirk and the leader would say okay you sit down so like in all the sins are committed by the human beings are caused by shaitans and the shaitans the leader tell them okay you sit down and you sit down so, now among all the gatherings there is the one who gets up he said what do you did the leader asked him what do you did and he would respond back to the leader <clears throat> i have targeted a husband and a wife and uh, i caused them to fight and i caused them to get angry on each other i caused i i was put in them and uh, made a small little point a huge they would fight in together and i would i didn't leave them alone until they break up and uh, i would not i didn't leave them alone until they break up i stick with them until they break up and i also get a help from other shaitans to help me to break them up and many shaitans help me and this is what i did and what happens that the the leader of all the shaitans he would call uh, that shaitan come to near him and uh, the leader would f uh, turn his face towards all the shaitans and the leader would uh, tell everyone he is the best shaitan that who did the best job all you did is nothing now let's try to understand something someone did a shirk the leader said okay someone did a uh, zina the leader said it's okay uh, someone made uh, uh, to made a human being to drink alcohol he'll say okay okay everyone is okay except the one that was caused the husband and wife to to fight and uh, the shaitan didn't leave them until they break up he would tell the leader would tell all the gathering all of you did nothing what he did is best than you now now from this point we can understand the husband and wife is the only relation on the earth except the husband and wife they will be they will be seeing a lot of shaitans around them it could be a face of the the girl's parents it could be a husband's parents it could be uh, the girl's brother or sister uh, maybe the husband's brother or sister maybe the husband's friends maybe the girl's friends uh, it could be on any face now let us understand how would be a husband and wife would could recognize the shaitan how is it this is how the shaitan work he would come to the goal and he and first of all we have to understand something shaitan would target the weak person not the one who is a stronger and the weakest between the husband and wife that's a uh, wife that's a wife is the weakest a uh, victim of a shaitan the shaitan would let's say for an example it could be both of them shaitan would go to the uh, weak person he would say so many good things he would say talk about so many good things about their partner oh he's so good oh she's so good it could be a whisper it could be in the face of girls side girls family side or it could be on the boys family side it could be the friends it could it could be in any one but shaitan would definitely would come between these two uh, husband and wife he would say now this is something very important and i'm sure inshallah that i make a dua this will really benefit all the husband or wife this is a great therapy and if someone would listen to uh, the lecture and i'm definitely inshallah make a dua after this win after this lecture i'm sure uh, there will be a great change in your life and you will live a peaceful life and you will love each other now the shaitan who comes from the husband side comes from the wife side or they will target uh, the weak person they would come to the weak person and will and the shaitan does not say directly bad things he would say a uh, good things 99 
0.9% by, okay, your husband is like that, your wife is like that, and he's such a good person, you are so lucky, and you are among the luckiest person. All the 99.9% .9 shaitan is talking about, uh, talking to the human being through the whisper, all through the human being. But among the 99.9%, 0.01 something, that will be a one drop of poison. And one drop of poison is enough for a shaitan to drop between the husband and wife. Let's say for an example, he would come to the husband, he would come to the wife, or either one who is a, a wicked person. He would come to them, he would tell them, okay, your husband is so good, but you know, there is something, this is the thing he doesn't do good. Similarly, he would go to the husband, shaitan would whisper 99.9% .9 good things about the wife, but the one thing he would say to the husband through the whisper, or through the, in the face of human being. Now that human being could be uh, from the girl's side, or could be a man's side. But there's one drop of poison would be enough to cause a fitna between them. Like for example, the shaitan would go to the husband and will tell them, your wife is such a good lady. She's doing a salah, she's doing a, a fasting, she's doing everything. You know, but there's something, uh, there's a problem. If she fixes that, that would make such a good thing. Now, if that husband or wife is so stupid and ignorant, he would leave all the positives and he will start getting aggressive into that negative point, trying to keep thinking that. Now this is the shaitan do. He makes a person think on something again and again and again and again that cause inside a boiling. Now this is the a point we understand how shaitan uh, plays with their mind. Either husband or it's a, it's, a, it's a wife. It could be through the whisper or it could be a husband wife. It could be a husband side or it could be a uh, wife side. But this is very important. What is the, the foundation of this relation to understand the foundation of this relation is that the both believe on Allah they both believe Muhammad sallallahu is the last messenger then their foundation of their relationships starts from a foundation it is a Quran and that makes the relation halal when there is a nikah khutbah and when uh, the imam said that you accept your husband, you accept your wife and that's how your relation started. Now the main foundation of the relation is number one, trust. You need to learn to trust each other. Not a single human being on the earth who is 100% perfect not the husband, not the wife. She has a lot of errors, husband has a lot of errors. But how does the relation work together? The way the relationship work together is, shaitan wants the partner to ignore the positives and pick on negatives. This is the shaitan do. And what a human being has to do? He has to pick on positives and ignore the negatives. Do not think about the negative, do not pay attention to the negative, just pick the good things and love each other. And that's the thing. Number one, based on trust. You trust your husband, you trust your wife, and this is how you start your relation. Love each other. And how do you love each other? By giving a respect, giving uh, uh, intimate relations, having a good time together, going out, spending a time to each other. Now also understand something, when you do not have the communication between you too much, that is one of the reasons it makes a shaitan to come in the middle. And also if there is no sexual relation between them, that also uh, is one of the cause that breaks a relation. In this relation, husband and wife, it is not allowed and it is not allowed, it is not permissible for the husband and wife to consult with the wrong people. First, whenever you have a dispute, whenever you have a dispute, both of the husband and wife has to sit down 
and they need to share their thoughts about each other. For example, if a husband has a problem with the wife, rather husband would be like keep whispering inside, communicating with the shaitan and keep boiling in, inside. It is better that husband should just take out whatever the things he has in his wife and he would just simply tell her, please, I don't like this, please, I don't like this. If you please compromise on this one, I would be very happy. And if the wife is being very obedient, she has a good uh, teaching and she has a, a brought up a very good how to respect the husband. And also the sisters has to know that the way Allah made the mother as a source of Jannah for a man, Similarly, Allah made the husband a source of Jannah for a woman. And one of the Hajj, the Prophet said, Husband, either a Jannah or the Jahannam uh, for a woman. For example, I have seen so many cases. The husband does uh, too many things uh, for a wife but she would still not be happy and why would she not be happy because she's looking at other women being getting pleased on having a rich and uh, having a money having shopping around but let me tell you something the best relationship should not be based on our money on spending shopping but rather the relationship should should be based on the Quran, should be based on the teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu Now how does the dispute start? The shaitan is attacking to the men and also attacking, attacking uh, wife side and also husband side, causing them to disturb each other. So now I'm gonna come back to the main point, how, what are the things could be controlled in order to make a relationship peaceful according to uh, the sunnah way to love each other number one there's a great instructions for a husband many husbands are short tempered and uh, this is the weakest part of a man that they get really tempered this is the root cause now if shaitan knows that this man gets really uh, tempered shaitan is gonna make uh, the wife do something which will make him angry and if he gets angry and then the, on the other side shaitan is uh, disturbing the wife to talk back and respond back and what happens like when the wife talks back and respond back to his anger rather than he gets uh, calmed down he boils more and when he boils more he just spit it out uh, in anger the word uh, divorce this is this is the root cause in every home if you control these two things, if you control, if a man can be controlling his anger, because anger is the cause of so many houses, uh, families are being destroyed because of the husband temper. And how does the husband get temper? Because of getting an impatience. If he wants to tell wife to do something, if she's, if she's not doing on time, if she's delaying on something, now that would be boiling him up and he's gonna spit out all the anger on his uh, mouth. Now what happens at the, on the other side, when he says something in the anger, when he gets in the home, when he says something in anger to a wife, now we have a problem, there's a great major problem. All the domestic violences and all the, the men in a jail in a, in a USA and I'm sure many countries, many women are getting beat up and they get hit by the husband. Rather than uh, blaming the husband, I would also uh, say the sisters to control your tongue because if Allah has given a physical power to a man but also a uh, woman has a strong power of her tongue that is like a sharper than the sword which really uh, cuts off a husband's heart by responding back and by replying back but rather i would ask them and i would request them all those husbands and wives who's listening to this one please forward this message to every husband and wife if you do not have the control on your anger the best thing to control is always recite a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim keep reciting that until you are cold then and what things that upset a, uh, a man uh, from the wife 
uh, just ignore that and just pick up something what uh, what she has a uh, uh, positive things in her and just ignore the negative and and on the other side I would ask the sisters if your husband are angry now I'm giving I'm giving a really something a formula that will make your life a peaceful if a husband controls his anger and if a wife controls uh, her tongue that house is like a Jannah in dunya and also they're going to get a Jannah in Akhirah because they have a patience they know how to respect each other because we know that the anger comes from Shaitan and the same Shaitan uh, makes the wife anger and the two angers are killing each other because we do not find we do not find uh, you cool down the fire with another fire we, you have to cool down the fire with the water or with the carbon dioxide it's something cool not uh, with we cannot um, uh, distinguish the fire with another fire in order to make the fire to cool down and shut it off when husband is getting on the wife the wife has to stay quiet if he's saying rather even even he's saying uh, accusing words accusation he's accusing her for something which she didn't do it is a request to the sister just calm down and stay quiet stay quiet until he is cold then you are able to explain him the problems but because if the husband is angry and the wife responds back it does not rather uh, cool him down but rather it will uh, rise more with the rising more he would say something uh, what of divorce and this is the how the mostly houses and mostly families are being destroyed just because of the, the husband's anger and uh, and the wife's tongues so inshallah i make a dua lot of for all my brothers and sisters if you keep these two things in your house controlling your anger controlling your tongue love each other respect each other give a best manners to each other live a life like a best friends live a life like you are a childhood friends share your problems with each other if one of them have a problem they have to share with each other do not like uh, keep it in your heart and that's gonna make it like a poison burning inside the heart but rather you share it with your partner because your partner is gonna stay with you for a lifetime you have to control your temper for the husband many husbands are very short tempered they cannot take it and they just suddenly get angry now that's a sign of also a weak man and also he is not a cruel person he would definitely destroy his own life and also the life of the wife because let's say if the if, if the husband is expecting good things from the wife and also the wife is expecting the same things from a husband she do not expect that the husband should curse her and also the husband expect the wife should respect her so in order for a husband to expect the her respect from the wife he has to respect first to love her respect her care her give her everything give her happiness and she is going to respond back with a similar manner do not expect you trying to be because there's a Aina Surah Nisa verse number 32 where Allah say ar rajalu kamamuna ala nisa now this ayah many people uh, get mis misconception about this ayah that the other uh, rajal is a kawamuna on the on the woman so basically this uh, ayah simply means a uh, rajal uh, the man is the responsible and the guidance for a woman to take care of them not take care of them it doesn't mean you're a gardener you're leader on her but rather you need to make sure she's comfortable she's being happy she's pleased and she uh, you don't give her bad impressions or anything but rather love each other respect each other live like a husband and wife live like a like a best friends when you have a relation of a best friend that house is the beautiful house when a husband gets angry the sister has to stay quiet because if she talks back that's a sign of uh, the shaitan is trying to uh, causing a problem because what happens like when you do that shaitan uh get the chance to boil them more and uh, shaitan wants the man to utter the word of talaq uh to the sister and that's how the family breaks now this is the husband wife 
Now, what if they have a children? That's more destruction. And from the hadith, this was the real meaning of the hadith. When the shaitan said, uh, uh, when the leader shaitan tells the shaitan, all the shaitans in the gathering, like he is the one who did the best job among us. Because we have to understand something: if the if the couple has a uh, children, it would not only destroy uh, their lives. Now this is causing the generations and generations and generations. They become like a psychological problems, and they, it also causes uh, mentally problems to the children. They get the same problem, and they would do the same thing uh, with their partners. This is naturally. So all the husbands and the wives, they have to be careful. The husband has to stop getting angry and learn to do that. And how to do that? You have to do a lot of dhikr. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha and see a lot of as car like astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zambi wa atubu ilayhi a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim a'udhu bi-sayyati al-kursi and also say uh, last uh, two surahs and also surah ikhlas and blow on himself because shaitan is caused because shaitan is bawling him rather to be a victim of shaitan rather you use the word of allah to call yourself down shaitan would not use you so when husband is angry because the wife says something the husband has to stay quiet and wait until she is cooled down and if she is saying something the husband has to cool down and when husband is saying something in a temper the wife has to stay quiet until he is uh, he is normal and he is cooled down and now she is able to explain him the problems now what happens when the family break it does not only cause the husband and wife to break but this also cause uh, the life of the children like for example in USA in a census there are report uh, so many uh, murder cases violence cases uh, domestic violence uh, problems are being caused of the mentally illness husbands and their mentally ill wives and when the history is being checked uh, of their background and everything it is being found that their their parents used to do the same thing and that wife side on the on the woman's side their parents used to do the same thing that's why it caused them for the psychological problem and they also get mentally sick and now they're doing the same thing what their parents used to do so this is not only causing the husband and wife this is also causing the next coming up uh, generation the two things you have to keep in your mind control your temper control your tongue because these are the two things which is the destruction of every house the most divorces are being done only because of the husband temper and the wife talks back to reply back she cannot stay quiet and which caused the husband to boil more then he utters the word of a divorce and that's how the family breaks it so inshallah i make a lot of dua for all our brothers and sisters please if you're looking for a counseling and if you're looking for therapy or any uh, husband and wife uh, therapy and you want to consult with me about your partner weaknesses or anything inshallah i do a free for everyone make sure you contact me for anything and uh, I'm ready to help you and I need to make sure you're living a beautiful life and may Allah give you a blessing may Allah bless you all